right, good, good. But I'm, I'm yes, just sir. recovering. I'm, <coughs> I'm, I'm just recovering. I, I cleaned myself out with, uh, with, um, um, it's some salts and in, in, in so, baking soda. I, I do that, but it really rips the stomach out. And all the rubbish that came out, that's what's oh. been making me crook. But, um, but the medication. Oh, well, hmm? we'll just have to bring down some do home with us. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to be in tip top condition next Friday. Yes. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, yeah, I'm just finishing my documents off. Will be released tomorrow for seven oh, days. Seven oh, days. For seven oh, well, days. Good. Thank you very oh, much. You take care and we hold you now, Okay. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Okay, bye. That's um, um, Coco. She's good to be around me. I don't feel too good today, in, in the last two days. Um, because I um, had a um, bit of problems with my stomach. And, um, my back of my neck here. I'm just gonna, not going to take the medication anymore because it just about killed me yesterday. It just about because it's not what the doctors say; it's what I say because I'm the one that feels the, the pain. They don't know. They're not. The doctor is only a. Is a I see. I told my nurse the doctor is only a drug dealer. He doesn't actually fix the problem. Here, over here. Why? Why the black? blood on the head, white black blood, there's a problem. They don't know. They don't know. You just imagine I'm, I'm a mechanic and I fix a car and it doesn't go properly. And that's, that's the way it feels. Fix the engine up for overheating and it still overheats. That's what these people are like, patch up, patch up, patch up. Now, I've, I've had enough of doctors. I think I'll string them up and hang them because they don't care about how you are. They just throw the medication on you and, and say that's it. <clears throat> they can't fix a problem here. It's always been there. It's really sore. Like, it's, it's, they can't see it. So bugger them. I'll fix it myself. I've got my own machine here. Here. I've got my own machine here. I'll put it on. I'll test, I'll test, I'll test myself. I don't feel good. I'm feeling cold. I don't want to feel like this <coughs> next week. I want to make sure I'm spot on. I'm just Sometimes high and sometimes one hundred sixty-three. Oh, we up some more. Two hundred sixteen. Oh, we went shot up to two hundred sixteen. We'll see what happens now. I'm just. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
46, 84, 85. There, that's the reading without medication. And it's going to stay like that. I'm not going to put this medication in for it. And just stop. <clears throat> that's my reading. And I'll just take the, the machine there, and this one, and put it on it. Oh. Alright, we'll see what this one says. The pulse, see what the pulse is. Man, I don't feel good. Doctors are rubbish. 85, 97. 85, 97, 86, 95, 86, 95, 86, 95, that's 86, 95. Okay, that's the left finger, right finger. <coughs> Oh good, Coco is at the meeting. Coco is at the meeting. In Hokianga with Bundy. <coughs> Their meeting's at 1.14. Bundy's got to get there from his work. It's starting to beat better now. The, the beat was erratic before with the medication. It was erratic. That's what Maggie says. It wasn't even. It was all over the place. And now it's going even. Right up. With the medication out of the road. Because it's a long time to read. Okay, let's see. Should I read now? Alright, 5788. 5788. Yeah, 5788. 57. Yeah, big difference. Okay, there. <coughs> That's. <coughs> I've been coughing all bloody night and day. I said I took my my lemon in my, my lemon and honey and, and um, apple cider, but that didn't seem to make a difference. And ginger. So I had just had a cake and a cup of tea and see if that makes any difference. But that's all I've had. And three eggs. I had three eggs. And see what happens. I just have to recover because I'm really drained out with all the guts gone now. It's emptied me out. Right. Um, our koko, she's the matekite or tohunga woman that watches over me and she's going to let me know what is happening at um, the hui up at Waitaha in Hokianga. They've got a meeting on today. They wanted me to go there, but I didn't want to go because I'm sick in the last three days. And so Bundy went. Uh, Bundy was take some time off work to go. And Koko is going to be there too. <coughs> um, let me know what's happening. It's very crucial that I know what's happening there before our meeting next week. And I want to say this to uh, all those people who are watching what I'm doing here. This is the big world I'm talking about, uh, where we play a part in what happens to the world with this flag here. Um, and at the moment, John Key's playing around with it. And Donald Trump, they're in big trouble playing around with our flag and Donald Trump declaring 
a de declaration of war. He's declaring war on Iran and, and uh, North Korea. And that's, he, he doesn't have that right. The, the Pope, Pope Francis took away all their laws of martial law <coughs> and that's only left this flag and us with the martial law. Now this government here is playing around with it. I'm putting this inside this writ warrant tomorrow against John Key um, that he is a threat to this country. He's already tried to change the flag and he's been involved in the Panama uh, Papers scam, bank scam, and he gave Hillary Clinton $13 million of our taxpayer funding from here for her terrorist operation. And her um, um, Clinton Foundation is shut down now. There, that's, that's where that all goes, to thin air. But they've got the money out of it. He's stolen the money from here and hasn't accounted for it. <clears throat> and he's living in Australia to hide under that federal state. You're going to get a bill from us, John Key. You are, you are libeling everybody in Australia now. You're libeling um, the TPPA. You're libeling um, Donald Trump. And you're libeling the banks. All the banks in the world are libeled now. And this flag is going to clean you all out and take over the banks. That's for sure. And so um, you can see now why John Key came to New Zealand to get an investiture, a point star, off this flag and place it on the front of him, as if to say he's got the power over us, the contractor, and the partner to Key William IV that created that jurisdiction of admiralty, martial law. He is a threat to this country because of his own financial investment interests offshore. And that in the foreign policy, that's, that's war. That's it's created a war situation on himself and everyone attached to him. He, he's liable, everyone, business, that he's been involved with, and now the whole of Australia. The government, the commercial, the, the, the commercial operators, the crown corporations, private companies, all, everything, um, and banks. <clears throat> because of that eight-point star he's wearing, and I'm wearing it on my hat. I'm wearing it on my hat here as the rightful owner of this authority. I am the authorised eight-point star, St. Patrick flag of 1834, declaration of war flag on you, John Key. It's a declaration of war on you, Donald Trump. We're, we're declaring war on you. From 2012, I've got that list of crimes on there with the flag issued to you in 2012. Now I'm pulling it straight up onto this court hearing next week and that's going to fall right on your heads, all of you. And Soros, George Soros, is cleaning you all out. He wants you off the land and he'll put a new title on it or um, the New World Order, that's this flag in us. That's, that's the way it looks. Okay, so that's all I want to say because um, I still don't feel too good today. Maybe tomorrow might feel better. Um, but I'll just take a, a, a steady and uh, let myself come back. Boy, I'm not going to go on those meds anymore. You can shove them, Dr. Gopi Nader. You can shove them. I don't like you and your pills because you never fix this problem. It's still there. And it's been there for a long time. You idiots. You don't know what to do. You, you, you wouldn't have a bloody clue. I'll boot you guys out. I'll shut you down. When I get this country back, I'll shut you down. All of you. And throw all those pills away. I'm going to biff them. Go back to plants. Natural plants. Herbal stuff. Bugger your pills. You can go with them in the sea. Farmer, big farmer, and you, you can go with it because we're going to shut you all down with this flag as a declaration of war on you from next Friday. Okay, that's my message to you doctors. You're just a pack of bastards <clears throat> just making money out of pills. That's all you are. I'm proving it. I'm proving it by what my acupuncture Chinese uh, physio says. Oh, um, John, you don't look good and your pulse is erratic. 
<coughs> I said, yeah, you see, I was perfect when I was not allowed to admit. Now you're telling me it's no good. It's all over the place. <coughs> I said to her, that's what I mean. <coughs> it's killing my brain cells. They've been doing that for a long time. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you all out. Gopi, Naida, go, Gopi, I'm going to take you all out. Mark my words. I'm saying this on this video. If you watch this video, you and Odahu there, I'm going to shut you down, mate. Because you're just a thug, like the rest of all these politicians here. All of you, I call you all thugs. There's nothing you can do about it. Right? Nothing you can do about it. You've made me suffer all these years. I'm going to make you suffer real bad. I'm going to lock you up. Hang you. Hang the whole bloody lot of you. Because you're all pirates. Okay, that's all. I'll see you later. I'm going to do some work now. I'm going to finish these documents off. These, um, I'm just, I'll show you a little bit. Over here. Come over here. I'll show you. I'm just finishing this off. Here, look, affidavit of service and video clip. I, Huani Wano, better known as John of Simon, 07B, 16 Park Avenue, Odehu, South Auckland, swear on Friday, 22nd of September 2017. I served the party as described in the heading, Simon Brent Ranchery, Director at 77 Cook Street, New Zealand by email. There, that's that one. That's for Cook Street, right? <coughs> and this one here. Affidavit of service and video clip. I, Hawani Kaki Wano, better known as John, of 1707 b 16 Park Avenue, Odahu, South Auckland, swear on Thursday, 21st of September, 2017, I served the party described in the heading John Key, Director at New Z Air New Zealand in Australia, with the following documents. There, that's John Key's <coughs> affidavit, and I'll sign it there tomorrow. So I'll just change the date here um, to uh, tomorrow's date, 22nd. 22nd. I'm doing. I'm taking a long time to do this. I'm just. I'm just showing you. I'm taking these things seriously. Everything I do is serious because it's online. It's online. There. Yeah. And John Key, it's, it's been, uh, here's the website that John Key's on. So I've got a website on Facebook and on my um, own website uh, where he's there as well. And there's enough documents inside there of, of him and his um, offending. <coughs> so I'm just finishing this one off for these guys. And those are the only two that I need to do for now out of all the others. So we go back through this. And here, the, here are all the names. Here, we're starting from here. Um, here, first defendants, PM John Key, theft of St. Patrick's eight-point star on our 1834 Declaration of War flag. <coughs> flag. <coughs> Flag. War flag against pirates and thugs like him, the rest of New Zealand. Okay, so that's uh, number one. Number two is James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree, 77 Cook Street, last chance to rebut these legal allegations against you both. Lost the case with CIB, New Zealand Police, tempering in this case. You cannot win. You're liable. All the entire police force and courts, judges, convincing lawyers, barristers, solicitors, parliament, ministers, Crown New Zealand. Third defendant, Tetumutumu Pairo Trust, Maryland Court. Cannot produce an original Moriori Manukau land title versus the Manukau Land Company, Manukau Company. Title, private contract between King George IV, 1820 to 1830, brother King William IV, 1830 to 20, 20th March, 1834, founding of New Zealand as a British King William IV, eight-point star of St. Patrick to the Four Corners of the Globe, Municipalities Act and Bank of England Act, 1694, and the Imperial Acts of the Pound Note Sterling, which we hold in the Moai Crown Pound Note currency in the ANZ Bank Auckland, Julie Sewell, manager. <coughs> Third defendant, Queen Elizabeth II, 
New Zealand Police and New Zealand Navy. Fourth, Defendant, Queen Victoria Trust, Trustees, Queen Elizabeth II, Prince Andrew and Imelda Marcos of Spain. Fifth Defendant, Interest in New Zealand Limited, that's the, all the companies here in, um, in uh, Mahuhu Crescent that are registered as their own private businesses in the Crown Corporations. There's 82 of those companies that are their own private separate interests for themselves. Sixth defendant, New Zealand Treasury. Seventh defendant, HM Treasury London. Eighth defendant, Awaroa Bank, Legal Nations, United Nations World Bank. Ninth defendant, BNZ Bank. Tenth defendant, New Zealand Governor General, Patsy Reddy. Eleventh defendant, ex Governor General, Jerry Mataparai Andrews. 12th Defendant, Ex-Governor-General, Anain Sadanan. 13th Defendant, New Zealand Police, 3 CIB Detective, Aaron Pascoe. <coughs> CIB, Tim Duffy, CIB, Natalie Flowerdew Brown. 14th Defendant, Queen Elizabeth II Jesuit. 15th Defendant, Pope Francis Bergoglio. 15th Defendant, Donald Trump, Philippines Gold, property of Maui Crown, Queen Victoria Trust. 16th Defendant, Pope Adolfo Nicholas Patron. 17th Defendant, President Barack Obama. 18th Defendant, Hillary Clinton. 19th Defendant, Helen Clark. <coughs> Prime Minister Bill English, 20th Defendant. New Zealand Foreshore, CBA Act 2004 and Continuation of Corporate Piracy, Treason, Legacy. So then on it goes. So that's that. And you'll notice we have it um, seals here. The seals of our um, court. And to um, tie those into our documents as legal. This is to the country of New Zealand. It's a 500 mile zone right out. Into the continental shelf. That's our title already. That was put there long ago. <coughs> 2008 with Mui Manukau. We did this long ago. This is not just new. Here's the pound note for the whole lot of the thugs. That's the big one. Jamie and I. Jamie Patrick with the Patrick 8 point star. That's the name Patrick. They carry that name. That's the two chiefs here that sold this country in 1820. 18, okay? There. That, that that, that's what nobody knew. And there's the invoice for John Key. And <clears throat> there's the declaration of war. There's the, there's the, these are the these are the these are the crimes: treason, economic terrorism, fraud and deception, conspiring to commit unlawful acts, murder, kidnapping, theft, intimidation. Crimes against humanity, crimes against the environment, enslavement, wrongful arrest and conviction, unlawful seizure of land and property. <coughs> As from 0001 hours on the 29th day of June of the year 2002, our nation will be at war. I'm picking that up from back then in the Maori government of Aotearoa. I'm picking that up and running with it on the court next week. <coughs> so that's that goes back to John Key right there, there's enough on him. This is Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Court, Magistrate Court. Okay, that's, that's inside the Waitangi Marae. That's where they do their dirty business. With Peter Parone, he's going to get hung as well. He's, go, he's going to go for a fucking skate, that bugger. I've had enough of him. Okay, so that's... That's it's better to treat pirates like as if I'm a pirate. See? I'm acting pirate because I'll be a pirate to go and hook the pirate right in the mouth. Right in the face. I'll I'll, I'll be a better pirate than them. With the flag. The flag will kill them all. Okay, that's all. I'll just go back and do some work. Finish this off. Bye for now. See you later.